Guy guys, in this video, we are going to uh, learn how to calculate the optimum products mix. Uh, it's subject uh, under the short term decision making. Uh, we took the 2017 HDA pass paper, third year per semester, advanced management accounting AMA. There's a questions question one and fourth questions. Detail of the three products manufactured by the company are as follows. They are, um, they are one of the company produced the three products A, B, C. And price also there. Direct material, direct labor, variable productions over gets and monthly demand also there. So uh, we need to calculate uh, optimum product mix um, based on uh, the questions. They already said the limiting factor is material they said that the company can't obtain more than 20,000 kilogram of material per month so they can't get the um, more material to produce the ABC um, than 20,000 kilogram so first we need to calculate the contributions then we need to calculate the required material contributions because here limiting factor is uh, material so we need to convert the contribution to required material then we rank the product which is make more contributions based on um, using the direct materials so let's calculate the um, contribution first both questions there's a <coughs> three product a b c a b c how can we calculate the contributions we can reduce the um, variable over guest uh, sorry variable cost from sales so selling price Hundred nine ninety ninety two hundred for A ninety for B and ninety two for C and variable cost one of the variable cost direct material twenty five thirty twenty twenty five thirty twenty And direct labor 30, 25, 40. Direct labor 30, 25, 40. And the other one is variable production over gates. Variable production over gates. 10, 5, 8. 10, Five, eight. So we can calculate the contribution per unit. Contribution right. Contribution per unit. Contract minus twenty five plus thirty plus forty. Uh, Ten. Forty. Sixty five. 65 minus the contract minus 65 is 35 and 90 minus 30 plus 25 plus 5 is 60 so 30 92 minus <coughs> 20 48 68 92 minus 68 is 24 so contribution per unit 
calculated. Now we need to convert the contribution per unit to required material. Required material per unit. Right. As per the question paper, they already indicate or inform you direct material rupees 10 per kilogram. One kilogram is 10 rupees. So they used for A 25 rupees. So this is meaning 2.5 kilogram. For V, they used 30 rupees. This means 3 kilogram. And C means 20 rupees is 2 kilogram. So required material 2.5 kilogram, um, 3 kilogram, and 2 kilogram. So Let's calculate required material per unit 2.5 kilogram, 3 kilogram, and 2 kilogram. And yes, we need to convert as a re contribution for required material. Okay. 35 divided by 2.5 and 30 divided by 3 and 24 divided by 2 so answer is 35 divided by 2.5 is 14 and 3 divided by uh, 30 divided by 3 is 10 and 24 divided by 2 is 12 so just we need to drag it the A product make more contributions by using the material so first one is A Second one is C and third one is B. So based on this ranking, we need to allocate the direct material to produce the product. Right? Let's calculate the product mix. Next calculation is product mix. So first we need to allocate to product A. So product A, how many unit is demands there in the market is 2500. So we need to produce 2500 in A. So use the full material 2500 unit. And Required material per unit is 2.5 kilogram. So total material usage for A 2500 into 2.5 is 600 and 6250 6, kilograms. We need to allocate second one for C. We can use the material up to 20,000 kilogram. So we can use up to 20,000 kilogram. We already used 6,250 for A product. So just allocate for C product. Demand is 400. Demand is 400 unit. And required material per unit is 2 kilogram. So total 8000 kilogram to produce the C product. So already used 
6250 plus 8000 so 14250 already used for a and c so rest of the material should be used for b so we can use up to 20000 so 5750 balance required balance material 5750 and b product required material 3 kilogram so 5750 is balanced material and required material per unit for b is 3 kilogram so produced units 1916 1916 unit right this is the products mix this is the answer for question 1 and part 4 and first questions a questions and b questions if the fixed production overheads of the company is rupees 150,000 square month calculate the net profit so we can do the net profit calculations so put the getting net profit calculations right there are three product a b c right so demand unit or selling unit demand unit for a for a 2500 4900,916,916,4000 Contribution per unit because we already calculate the contributions, so it means sales minus variable cost. So, contribution already we calculated in earlier part. Contribution per unit 35, 30, 24. 35, 30, 24 if we multiply the contribution per unit to demand unit it will it should be total contribution so 2500 into 35 2500 into 35 it's 87500 87,500 and 1916,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000
right? 96,000 plus 57,500 so total 240,980 240,980 240,980 so and fixed cost for the company already said in the question paper 150,000 so 150,000 should be deducted from total contribution so net profit Ninety thousand nine hundred and eighty rupees is the net profit for this product mix. So this is the answer for question B. So you can follow this step and gain the answer from this question paper. I think uh, you can understand these steps very easily. And get the score on your examinations if you have any doubt please drive it down the comments below the videos I will rectify I will explain you as soon as possible thank you